hope everyone is doing well and feeling loved, and if not, know that I love you. Okay, so I'm going to do the sexual reading today, um, like I normally have been doing, and then I'm going to do, um, what is today? What is today? Wednesday? Messages from counterparts. Oh, Lord. And the sexual reading together. <laughs> okay. So... We're going to do the spread that the book, I really like doing this, one, two, three, okay, so one, two, three, and it is desires, fears, the life lesson, okay, that can be learned, so let's get this, all the personal readings have been completed, if you're interested in a personal reading, um, my information is in the description box, I'm not trying to make this long, because I have stuff to do. This is for the messages from the counterparts. I feel like there's someone, I'm just going to tell you, there's someone out here being very um, shady, very manipulative. Um, there's a lot of weird energy that I'm feeling. There's some toxicity here. I'm already feeling it. Let's see who's out here being shady because, no, I, I'm already feeling it. out here being shady who I'm picking up on like this weird nasty energy that I'm picking up on who's out here being shady Virgo could be a Virgo for some a Scorpio Lilith energy let me see I never pick up an, a Virgo being shady that's weird Oh, Lord, stuck energy. Somebody's trying to make a Virgo stuck. Could be an emperor, their emperor, or Aries. Is Virgo being shady? Is there a Virgo being shady? Yes, this person... yeah there it is it is okay so you whoever is this Virgo y'all need to stop it ain't me so <laughs> it's not me so I don't know this person there could be a Virgo dealing with a Scorpio that's being shady and there's a Scorpio being shady what's the Scorpio being shady about this person is not healthy or not balanced Yeah, they're upset. They're upset by something. Oh, Lord. Who else is out here being shady? You guys are encompassing Lilith. Could be an Aquarius as well. A Sag doing magic against a Taurus. Why are these people being shady? Something about... Could be using your spiritual gifts to achieve something. Yeah, to make somebody alone. Could be a water sign you're trying to make get alone here. There's a Leo involved that is somebody's lover. I feel like this person could be using fire magic. You got people using different types of shit. This person is an extroverted. This person is communicating something or to someone about a reunion that they want. There's the Aries after the Earth sign. This person is introverted and wants control over this person because they share a past life. There's a lot of people out here being weird. <laughs> Doing weird stuff. What happened? What is going on? What is going on with you guys? There's a masculine out here that's trying to limit somebody with fear. Trying to scare you. 
Yeah, they're trying to deceive you. So that's devil energy. Who is this? They're after a feminine. They could be after a feminine water sign. Who's the masculine? This was fated to happen for you to take care of yourself. <laughs> there could be an air sign here that's also after a feminine. This person is trying to heal a karmic cycle with the feminine. They're, tr they're doing shadow work. They could be trying to hide. They're separated from you at this time. This is your twin. Lord, there's a lot of you out here acting crazy. <laughs> but I feel it. The energy feels very crazy to me, okay? It's weird that I'm feeling like... So... You guys need to get your get your stuff together. Yeah, it's like three or four of you. Yep. Three, three. It's like three or four of you doing this. I'm picking up on you because I do readings for you guys. There's also a cancer out here that I'm feeling. What happened? Gosh, I did not. This cannot be long because I got stuff to do. You guys argued. Or there's conflict happening right now. There's a lot of conflict happening for something that is for manifestations people are trying to manifest and it's just i don't know this feels like yeah the devil that's what i'm saying so it feels like there's opposing forces trying to manifest things and it's clashing like people are trying to manifest good things and i feel like there's someone else trying to manifest there's other people trying to manifest bad things and so they're both like fighting yep there it is <laughs> Because they, they all want to win here. They all want their manifestations. This is why there's confusion here. And a lot of people are stressed out. Okay. So who? what manifestations are coming? So there's a relationship coming. Four of Wands. 11-11 could be twins coming together. What manifestations are coming? There's the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh. Somebody could be trying to hold on to a feminine water sign who's toxic as hell. Yeah, don't trust this person. There's someone else coming in for you that's much better for you, much more grounded, much more um, loving, who's going to be able to, you know, be your husband or be your spouse. This person could be an earth sign. This is a soulmate, life partner. Keep listening to your intuition. Keep speaking your truth. I feel like you could be cussing somebody out here. Keep saying it. That's your divine feminine energy. That's you feeling passionate about this new beginning. Who's trying to hold the divine feminines back? Who or what are trying to hold the divine feminines back? This could be somebody who is single or people who are single trying to hold the divine feminines back. They do not want you to manifest what you're manifesting. Okay? Yeah, this is a group of people. <laughs> this is a lot of people don't want you to succeed. Sagittarius could be on the front lines of this, not wanting you to succeed. There also could be a Sagittarius that's helping you as well. Yep. They're helping to end this tower that people have created in your life. They're also ending any kind of financial imbalance in your life. This is what you're manifesting. And these people did not want you to be the Queen of Pentacles. They wanted you to be broke. Without love. But this is not happening. Yep. You're going to manifest what you want. Because the universe is backing you. Because you're a fucking feminine. Divine feminine. You're bringing balance to the world. You're a high priestess. Sun. The sun has your back. Okay. Desires, fears, and life lesson. Desires, fears, and life lesson. For whoever needs to hear what. Everybody wants to go against the good. Unbelievable. Desires. 
fears. Lesson. Wow, look how that is. That's crazy. Okay, we also have 195, 951, 915. Take it how it resonates. When a situation is suspended or blocked by doubt, you must hurry to resolve it because it cannot go on forever. That is the desire. For some of you, somebody's desire is to keep you stuck. For others, some of you are trying to remove a block. Okay? Second card is fears. That's the five of swords. So let's take a look. You must overcome the fear of judgment, shame, and a sense of inadequacy. You must give yourself a good shake and take some risk. So somebody here fears judgment, shame, and inadequacy if they make a decision. 1117 could be significant. Somebody's birthday could be at 1117. Ace of Swords. So... The life lesson here that could be learned from this situation is accept that bonding means giving of oneself. It means accepting doubt and transforming it into trust. So all of the fears that you have needs to be released and transformed into trust. I feel like whoever you're connecting with can be trusted, but I don't think you trust this person. I don't think you trust this person. So, yeah. So who is that? Who is that? Who feels um, scared to move forward and scared of judgment and all this? Who is this? This could be a Libra that feels this way. Okay. Um, and who are they dealing with? They could be dealing with someone who's upset, who walked away from them. 9-8 is significant, or it could be significant. <sighs> yeah, they're viewing this person as the Queen of Wands. So, this person could be a fire sign or have fire in their chart. This person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is their life partner. Yeah, this is their counterpart here. 88 is significant here. 84. Scorpio energy here for some of you. Something's hidden. This masculine is hiding something. What is it? It could be doing magic to keep you <sighs> stuck. What the fuck did I say? I knew it. This person is doing moon magic to fuck up somebody's finances to keep them stuck in a karmic cycle. Why? I feel like they're doing this because they feel like it's healing. And I, that's what I, they feel like it's healing or this is the only way to heal something with you because you may need them for money or sex. This person is fucked up, bro. This is a Libra for sure. This person is also wanting you to get a divorce or cut someone else off. That could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, because this air sign right here is completely upset that you cut them off. They're still stalking you, watching you from a distance. They could have other people stalking and watching you as well, but they're confused. They're like, what the hell? Everything I'm doing isn't working <laughs> to make this person single. I don't know. This person is not, it's like their intention is like, what is this person's intention? What is this air sign, this uh, Libra's intention to, for this divine feminine? To make you stuck in your head. 
so that you can change or you can figure something out. They're trying to cause you conflict so you can put someone at a distance. They're trying, but it's weird because they're doing this, right? But what they're actually doing is helping you heal some kind of guarded energy that you may have. They're helping you hear, hear. They're helping you heal a fear of intimacy. You could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. All this is doing is making you take care of yourself. This is your twin that's doing this to you. It's like they're operating in devil energy, but it's helping you evolve. It's weird. This person is very toxic as hell. Okay, like, <laughs> damn, what kind of contract did y'all have? Because this is like weird. This is like, this person is literally coming in as like a fucked up individual. Like, I don't really say that in my readings because I don't like to judge you guys because I'm no one to judge anybody. And I've said that countless times, right? I'm no one to judge you. Who the hell am I? I'm not God, right? I don't judge anybody. But like, from a pers from a personal opinion, like, I feel like this person is a fucked up individual, okay? This person is not operating with integrity. This person is like using magic and all kind of shit to throw blocks up and like make you run back to them for their own selfishness but like what it's actually doing is just helping you learn lessons to evolve it's like helping you heal even though that's not their intention their intention is not to heal you but their shady shit is healing you it's wild this is crazy to me you could be dreaming about this person. <laughs> Anything you want to say about this person? Yeah, you have completed a cycle with this person, but they're trying to come back. This is weird. I don't even know. Because they want a commitment with you. They want a reunion with you. But they're stalking you. Spirit, what is the advice here for this divine feminine? Yeah, that's you. What do you want? So, Spirit is asking you, what do you want? What is your wish fulfillment? So, I feel like you, you're you creating your own reality. So, Spirit is like... Yeah, you're free. See, that's, I'm telling you. Spirit is not giving you advice because you're free. The choice is yours, basically. Like, do you want this person or do you want someone else? Like, you're free of this person. I don't know if this person, I don't know if your contract had you in some kind of bondage or something, like your, your soul contract, but you're no longer tied to this person anymore. You broke some kind of um, spell or curse or cord. You're no longer tied. Maybe your karmic debt has definitely been paid with this person. If you had karmic debt with them, like this is why you're free. You don't have to stay tied to this person anymore. It's over. So spirit is like, what do you want? That's your free will, right? That's the gift that I gave you when I created you. Yeah. So what does this what does this person that's trying to keep divine feminine hostage basically what do they want with divine feminine they want sex you make them feel worthy so that's what they want they want a third party with you that's their wish fulfillment is a third party having you stuck in this toxic pattern with them is a third party is their wish fulfillment because you make them feel worthy You already know what you got to do. You got to let them go, Divine Feminine. They're wearing a mask. I think, well, you already have, so. This is your counterpart, unfortunately. I don't know. I feel like they kind of just pissed away their connection with you. Messages for them. 
this person is not a good person. I feel like you have someone else or you will have someone else who is just a better fit for you. This is just sad that this person wants... This person is <laughs> literally has a divine connection with you, but... I don't know. They don't want it. They just... They don't want it. 11-11. is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes harmony and balance of soul counterparts. Yeah, this is your fucking counterpart. This is your counterparts, and it's sad because... Like, this is a love of a lifetime. Maybe this person is incapable of loving you because of some kind of fucking defect that they have or something. We reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. You always come together with this person in every lifetime. You will see them and be with them. But they always do this in every lifetime. This is your true love. <laughs> True love comes when you least expect it. This is your true love. Remember I kept channeling a rose? Some of you may be going towards someone else who you're really going to love. Yeah, you really love this person, but you got to let them go, right? Yeah, you're getting a commitment with someone else or you have a commitment with someone else. Um, who's going to respect your boundaries, who's going to be open with you. This is a time of rejoice. Okay, embrace your loving connection with this other person. Okay. Because your twin didn't learn the lessons, right? What do you want to say about this person, this masculine that's not learning their lesson or that is... transforming this divine feminine but from like I don't know this person's living in the dark what do you want to say about this person this person lives in the dark I told you guys I I tell you what I'm channeling right I tell you I know what I feel when something is lower vibe like this energy I know what it feels like I feel it right now <laughs> like when before I even started the reading I was like somebody's fucked up that's how I know who I'm channeling whoever this person is encompasses this energy okay it just period it's it's they like it they revel in it they may even worship it in secrecy you don't even know they may not even realize what they're doing okay maybe they don't feel energy so they can't when you don't feel energy i think it becomes very dangerous especially if you do you know if you deal with the occult i consider myself dealing in the occult um but i don't consider it in a negative way right what i call a cult is like crystals and cards and all of that because that's what stereotypically it's been labeled right but i do pray to jesus i am a christian i consider myself a christian um, because I believe in Jesus and all of that, and I believe in the Most High God, okay? Um, and I know if something is in my space, that is this, because I can feel it, and it attacks me every time, okay? People that don't feel energy won't know that, because they won't feel it. Like, they could go into a completely haunted area full of demonic energy and not feel a thing that's that's how people end up getting sick um that's how that's why psychics and healers are very important to the world because like for example i went to a beach here um and heavy demonic energy like i couldn't even get to the beach i was riding to, it was a, like a millionaire neighborhood some of the houses people were billionaires i guarantee it Anyways, I mean, that doesn't mean anything, but spirit wanted me to say that. <laughs> but um, I'm going down and I couldn't even get, I was just wanting to go to the beach because I had never been to that beach before. And I started feeling attacked spiritually. And I know what it feels like. And I was like, oh my God. And I swear to you, I've never felt such heavy, disgusting, demonic energy until I had been there. And I got scared because I started, like, what it felt like, what it felt like I was getting hit upside my head. I, I couldn't breathe. I felt, um, 
like my crown and my third eye was being attacked and I felt like I was about to have a heart attack and I was getting messages saying do not go to the beach you might get sick like you might have a heart attack so I I was with someone else who who is an empath who could feel energy as well and I looked at them and before I could even say anything they looked at me and said there's something wrong and I said you feel it too and they said yes and we turned around immediately that is what demonic energy feels like later on I looked up that area on Google and read an article from a priest who clearly was also an empath and um, he had visited that place a year prior and said that he felt a heavy demonic presence and I said I told you like to the person that I was with, I was like, I told you that was a demonic energy. That's what demonic energy feels like. And I don't think they had ever felt that type of presence. And they were like, oh my God, that is terrible. And I was like, yes. And the sad thing about it is there were people like on the beach walking around like that we could see in the distance. Those people have no idea what type of energy they were just reveling in because they can't feel it. And it's sad because those energies will attack you. They can cause disease. They can cause mental illness. Um, there were instances of a homeless person throwing acid in someone's face at that beach. There were countless deaths every year from people dying in their sleep or dying of cancer. And that's how this energy manifests. Okay. This is why I always tell you to steer clear, to cleanse your space, cleanse your energy, pray, you sage Palo Santo, sometimes that's not even enough. Sometimes you have to do like a complete blessing of your home. Um, if the temperature inside your home is colder than what it is outside and there's no reason for it, that is not ever good. That is also a clear sign. Something is wrong. Your house needs to be blessed. Okay. If you're a high priestess, you can bless your own house. You can bless your own water. Okay. You don't need anyone else to do it for you. You have... The holy capacity to do that for yourself okay um i don't know i just went off on a tangent but that was a message for some of you okay this person unfortunately and some of you i have i have been asked this because i connect with a lot of you whose twin is exactly like this and I get asked the same question. They're like, how is that my twin? I don't know. Okay, I'm just telling you, I don't know. I know what I see in the energy. I've even had people message my shop saying that's not their twin. Or I listen to your reading and that's not a twin counterpart. When I'm channeling, I know what I'm channeling. <laughs> okay, This is somebody's twin. I don't know why that's your twin. I don't know. I don't know. The only thing I can think of is that every because we all have free will, this person fucked up and made the wrong decision. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay? And that's a that is a possibility, right? That's a possibility. Remember, he was once an angel too, you know? I mean, it was once an angel too. It was once like us high vibe you know, high vibrational energies. And then until it wasn't, right? Until it wasn't. Until it said, you know what? Fuck you and fuck this. I don't want this anymore. I wanted to have control. I wanted to take over. And now that I can't, I'm just going to create my own world. Right? Or whatever <laughs> you believe. It was thrown down onto the earth. Into heaven, into hell, right? What the hell was that noise? Oh, shoot. Um, yeah. Everybody has free will. So this is what I feel like, this is what I feel like gets people confused. People are like, well, maybe he wasn't my twin. It doesn't matter. This is why I tell you guys the labeling doesn't matter. I know what I see in the cards and that these energies are somebody's twin that fucked up and made the wrong decision at the end of the day. 
okay? You're still vibing high. You're still healing. You're still doing you. Be grateful to God and praise God and, you know, that you're being protected. And that's it. You, this is why Spirit always tells you to remember your integrity, remember your boundaries, remember your self-respect. Because we all know that this energy comes towards you in the form of temptation. Does it not? <laughs> yes, we do. Okay. And if you don't, if you don't resonate with this message or if this doesn't align with your beliefs, you can click off. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't have to. It's just not your path. My path, this path is not your path, basically. But unfortunately, that's the energy that somebody's person is encompassing. But you're having new love that is coming towards you. What's the new love that is coming towards them that they're going to have, you know, this is carnelian. This is energy to explore here. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did. So throw off the bulliness, sail away, and catch the trade winds. Explore, dream, discover. This is going to be someone here you can explore, dream, and discover with. Okay? You can have a life with. And what energy is divine feminine encompassing here? The truth. So you are vibrating on a frequency of authenticity. I don't know if some of you know this or if any of you know this, but the vibration of authenticity is even higher than unconditional love. That means that you are vibing so high, child. <laughs> okay. You are in the vibrational frequency of truth. Better to get hurt by the truth than comforted with a lie. You're creating from truth. And you have unwavering tenacity. Temper us in fire and we grow stronger. When we suffer, we survive. Somebody's knocking on my door. Weird. Hold on. changing my kitchen light because my kitchen light burned out for the second time <laughs> there's a lot of spirits that fly around in my kitchen I don't know why but they do and no they're not low vibrational <laughs> okay <laughs> but there are some that come in that are low vibe that I have to clear out that are in my kitchen for some reason I don't know why they stick to in my kitchen but they do and yes, I clear them out. Okay, so you are creating from the truth at this time. Anything else you want to say, spirit, to them? Be courageous. Be, have courage. Tiger's eye, being deeply loved by someone gives you strength, while loving someone deeply gives you courage. Okay, so you have someone coming in. Sun energy. I'm not pretty, I'm not beautiful, I'm radiant as the sun. You are encompassing the sun. You're being protected by the sun. Anything you want to say to the twin that fucked up, that failed, or is failing? Because I feel like this person cross watches. I definitely feel like this person cross watches. So I die because I sense them. With enlightenment, there is no separation. We recognize that we are one with the divine. You need to go through an enlightenment or achieve enlightenment. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you're about to go through an awakening. The intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and great lows. Your connection is eternal and unbreakable. So, I don't know, Spirit wants you to know that this is your person that you're doing these things to. Yes, it's intense. Yes, you're forever connected eternally. Your twin could even tell you that you're connected eternally. You need to go towards the light. Oh, this is like sad. 
I don't think you've achieved enlightenment. This feels like someone who's asleep. It's time to think of everything that you admire in your partner. The power of love is like a magnet. Yeah, you got to admire, forgive this person so that you can come into your power. God has not given up on you, if that's what you're wondering or thinking. Spirit, what do you want to tell this person or these people here? The ones who are in that negative energy. What do you want to tell those people who are in the negative energy? You guys are stuck in the dark. You're like moving in the shadows. Death. To the well-organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. Death. Obsidian. <sighs> wow, this wanted to come out. Star. I have loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night. The death of a star. The death of a star is significant. I don't even know what that means. that means be yourself everyone else is already taken this could be someone who is okay you too thank you i don't know if you heard <laughs> you heard him um okay so i don't know if this is someone here who was trying to emulate someone else Maybe this person was trying to take your power or your healing or end your healing. There's going to be justice for this. But you will be given mercy. Because this says mercy bears richer fruits than strict justice. So God is willing to have mercy or give mercy to you. Why? Or only if you do something here. Something about magic. Want to clarify magic? This is about healing yourself. Using magic to heal yourself. The only way to find true happiness is to risk being completely cut open. You need to be vulnerable. You need to heal. Whatever it is that you don't want to face or look at, you need to heal it. It has to do with lust and temperance so everything needs to be in moderation okay i feel like you have a sex addiction that you may not want to face or look at um you could be using sex magic to control somebody your twin each of us is born with a box of matches inside us but we can't strike them all by ourselves lust is something you need to heal this is why god is giving you mercy because God understands that you have this, I don't know, attachment or something on you that is creating this lustful energy. And, and Spirit is telling you, like, if you, if you heal this, you'll understand why things are like this or what happened. Yeah, it's, you gotta heal this. Yeah. Now and then it's good to pause in our pursuit of happiness and just be happy. Like something about healing this sex addiction will make you grateful and feel gratitude. And it will help you grow. Let go. 
you want to reconcile with this Virgo, <coughs> you're going to have to give a little bit of something. Something has to end. Death again. This conflict has to end. You need to work on yourself. This is an air sign becoming single. You know what work you have to do. 728 could be significant. You know the work that you have to do, but it feels like a burden to you. I don't feel like you want to do it. Divine Feminine, it may be hard for you to disconnect from this person because you know that this person is your true fucking love and, like, this person is just a shady individual. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know this person uses sex magic. You know it. You've been on it to keep you stuck. I'm telling you. But... This person could never do anything that would cause you not to love them because it's your fucking bond, dude. It's like, it's just an undeniable love that you feel that you can't even express that, you know, it's just like, it's been there for centuries and And you just love them. And they love you too, but they they won't do the work. They won't fix their mind. It's something about their mind. And allowing this low vibe energy to just take them over, they won't rid themselves of it. I don't know why they won't do this. saying the reason why is because they took the easy way out. Something about the year 2020 could be significant. They could have done something in the year 2020. reason why they keep coming towards you is because they want to feel that way again that they felt when you guys were or are in a good energy like good time I hope that you can forgive me one day so they know what they've done but they still why do you still continue to do with the things that you do Because they're focusing on you instead of their own pain. That makes sense. And they're doing so in a low vibe manner. So instead of healing this sex addiction and facing their sexual trauma, they're focusing on you. They're obsessing over you. And they pretend that you don't mean that much when they know that's a lie. Divine Feminine, what do you want to say to Divine Feminines? What do you want to say to this person that's in? This person is like lost. Their, their soul is lost. They're lost. But... I wondered how far this would go. And here comes Batman outside. That's what the cat's name is, Batman. The one that was fighting my cat. I just saw him creeping around the corner. <laughs> I hid who I really am from you. I've been struggling. Mm. Okay. I couldn't tell you face to face. I know you're watching me. 
What couldn't they tell Divine Masculine face to face? What couldn't they tell Divine Masculine face to face? I never want to feel that way again. Yes, it's too late. This person doesn't want you in their life again because of how you made them feel when you did something to them. And they feel like it's too late, probably because they have moved on to this other person who makes them feel loved and loves them, yep, who they have a family with. high vibe like they are this is this is this is um <sighs> they know that you're doubting that you live in doubt they know that the divine feminine does and this is what they wanted to be free of your doubt because they understand that divine masculine you wanted to keep them in the shadows with you because you didn't want to let them go this is like very sad bro this is like this is a divine masculine who like I keep saying because I'm channeling this this person is stuck in the dark. And when I refer to the dark, I refer to depression, stress, all of the low vibe energies, right? Because they don't want to heal. And they didn't want you to break free of them because they wanted you to be there with them. But you can't be because you did the work. You did the work. Maybe they didn't anticipate you doing the work. This is the truth. You're living in your truth. And I don't think they anticipated you living in your truth. They kept, they thought that you were going to stay guarded. That way you could stay with them. They're guarded. Wow. So they did not want you to raise your frequency because they knew that if you raised your frequency and got out of the frequency they were in, that it was it was a no-go for them. See? Spirit is saying you raised your frequency. That's why you released them. Somebody could be showing at somebody showing up at somebody's door because I I thought I heard knocking, but I know that's not my door. Nobody's knocking at my door. Yeah, you surrendered to the divine, to God, and this is why you completed the cycle. And this is why this person is mad, pissed off. Because they're like, no, I wanted you to stay here with me. So they knew exactly what they were doing. This is someone who has, like I was channeling, someone who has occult knowledge. They know how frequency and energy works. They know how this works. They didn't want you to ascend. Because they knew once you ascended, you would separate yourself from them. sad but then it's also like gross at the same time like I don't even know how to feel to be honest because it's sad but then again this could also oh my god this is why this person also kept traumatizing you I'm hearing for some of you so if you're wondering like why would this person do this to me why would this person do this to me if they loved me this is why this person kept hurting you to keep you in a lower vibe, to keep you constantly healing because they knew that if you ascended that they would be out of the picture because they didn't do any work. Oh, this is, this is. Some of you are like, yeah, but when you heal, your twin heals. I don't know nothing about that. Not these people that I'm channeling, okay? 
And that's not scientifically proven either. That's a theory. I'm just telling you what I'm channeling. Not all soul contracts are the same. Not all things are going to be what you think they're going to be. Not all people's... When it comes to... How many times have I preached to you guys when it comes to individualities, individuals... You're not going to be able to throw everybody in a box. You're just not. Because not everybody will fit. These are advanced souls, number one. Okay? The people that I'm picking up have been around for centuries. You hear what I'm saying? Centuries. Okay? Centuries. Do you know how long a century is? And it's multiple centuries I'm channeling. Like, these people are old as hell, soul-wise. Okay? Okay? And they know it. They know it. Okay? I just heard we're the old gods. Okay? So. It's just sad because. It's like on one hand you feel bad for these masculines and then on the other hand you're like but what? How could you do this? I feel like these are people that want to reincarnate on purpose. So I don't know if any of you know the whole thing. So what I believe, okay, doesn't make it true, may not be your path. I'm just telling you what I believe. What I believe is that you come here, you're supposed to heal so that you can ascend to go into to go to heaven, right? To, to be with God. That's my belief. When you don't ascend, you reincarnate and have to come here again. Okay? I feel like these people, these masculines that I'm channeling, these people don't want to ascend. They want to keep reincarnating. They want to keep living their life over and over and over. This is why they choose not to heal. They may look for you in every lifetime. I don't know why they want to look for you in every lifetime, though. It's fucking weird. Like, um, because they use your energy for their abundance. And something about having to connect with you. They need you to, to receive their own abundance or to manifest off of you. For some, this is what you need to forgive them for. Yeah, this is why you need to maintain distance. This is why they may try to put fear in you and limit you, okay? But what are they manifesting? What are they manifesting off of Divine Feminine? Listen to your intuition. They could, so they are infiltrating your consciousness. Yeah, because they're telepathically communicating with you. Yeah, to gain their wish fulfillment, which is their comfort zone, which is probably money and sex, money and bitches, <laughs> or dudes and money. Yeah, they use your energy to make themselves feel better. Mmm. Toxic as hell. And they also use you because they know that you are their counterpart. So something about meeting you in every lifetime he feels healing to them because they have abandonment wounds. They have rejection issues. They know that you'll never reject them because they know that you're their counterpart. It's like they have this knowing, like... Oh yeah, she's mine. Like, she loves me. She's going to be the one to love me no matter what, which is fucking true. But it's also messed up. Yep, no matter what I do to her, she'll love me. Wow, this is giving... This is the... The reason why they need this from you is because their mother didn't unconditionally love them. I need you to understand this, okay? I'm going to say that again. These masculines that are... In, that are operating from this energy they need you divine feminine their counterpart to love them in that way because they were never given that love as a child their mother does not love them in that way and never did probably because of her own trauma probably because she has clearly has issues because i have children and i love them with all my heart like i would give my life for my kids hands down not even a thought okay so their mother did not feel this way about them. They never received that love. This is why they sought you out. Because they know, they knew you would. I 
I had someone ask me before one time, why would God do this? Why would God bring together someone who is this vile with someone who was basically like an earth angel? And I said, this is what I said, and I've been thinking about this a lot lately. So this person may be thinking about this a lot or somebody's counterpart is thinking about this. And I told them, I said, because only an angel could love a devil. And I think that person, these masculines, know that in their soul. They know that no matter what they do, you will always love them. Because you were designed to love unconditionally. You were designed to love no matter what. You were designed to love how Jesus did. At the end of the day, that's what it boils down to. You love people in the same capacity that Jesus loved people. So don't get angry. Don't go to their level. Just understand that that's what they're searching for. Send them that love at a distance and wish them well. A lot of people have never experienced that type of love or acceptance where someone has accepted you no matter what and is not judgmental and is like, you know what? You know, it is what it is. We all make mistakes. A lot of people have never experienced that type of love before. And it can be addicting to some. That's why people become codependent of you. Um, that is why people, you know, become very protective of you at times. That's why. Because you stand for love, unconditional love, something that they never have experienced. What energy is this that they are, that divine feminine is encompassing, that these divine masculines are just not willing to give up, not willing to do the right thing <laughs> for Mr. Blaine. Mr. Blade. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear him. He's so cute. Is Batman out there? <laughs> That's your arch nemesis. Yeah, he is. <laughs> the goddess of the eternal flame. I am an eternal flame and each day my light grows brighter. Brigid. Brigid is... For some of you, Lalita, the red goddess, playfulness is a spiritual power. Laughter leads me back to the light. Some of you are encompassing the goddess of eternal flame, playfulness, Lalita, Mary of Nazareth, the mother of God. My courage gives birth to the divine. I am blessed. Okay. Joan of Arc, the warrior of light. I have a still like faith in myself. The angels armor me with conviction. Okay. This is, this is, oh, <laughs> Yeah. Kuan Yin, the goddess of compassion. I recognize suffering in order to release it. Curiosity breeds compassion. Queen of the outsiders, I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. Yeah. You're leading with your light. You're leading with love, compassion, forgiveness. Segment is also here, the red lady. I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. Okay, some of you are encompassing segments energy as well. What energy is around these divine masculines that are trying to help 
these divine masculines, trying to help them to do the right thing, giving them mercy, and trying to show them the light, trying to create enlightenment. The mystic of peace, I am peace. When my mind is clear, the way is clear. I'm telling you, there's somebody who has mental illness. They're not right mentally, or there's something about their mind that is not right. These energies are trying to help these people. Mind over matter, okay? They're allowing their mind to control them. Parvati, the goddess of devotion. I am a love that doesn't leave. When I commit to love, my soul evolves. Okay? And Khadija, the mother of believers. I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. The prophetess of true power. I call my power back from all times and all places. I am my own. So some of these divine masculines have given away their power. They still have their power lost in past lives or past times. I... I don't know nothing about that. It's like, wow, that's crazy. It's like they've given their power away to old timelines. <sighs> Why is their power stuck in old timelines? Because of some kind of regret. Maybe they're not wanting there. Maybe they're trying to stay in those timelines because they don't want to move forward. Yeah. These are old timelines from toxic patterns. This is like past lives. Where they were in control. This is a past time line where they were in control. And it's time to heal now. You gotta heal this. You guys could be Plutonian or could encompass Pluto. That's Hades energy. It's time to heal this. You're resisting this transformation. This is something. Are they going to end up doing this regardless? Is the divine going to end up doing this? Something about clarity. Venus is coming in to try to help them remove their masks so that they can um, raise their vibe. They're definitely air signs. They're confused by some kind of um, conflict that keeps coming in their life because they're cold and detached. This is someone who is not opening their heart space and standing in their own strength. Air and Leo is significant, okay? I feel like this is an air sign who is meant to stand in sun energy, but they're not accepting the sun. They're not accepting the light. They're not walking in the light or walking towards the light. They're not accepting their power. Yeah, because they're held on to toxic patterns. They're being held back by this lustful energy. Yeah, they don't want to go towards the light because they could be scared to go towards the light also. But also I feel like for some of them they want to reincarnate. That's also why they're not walking towards the light. They don't care about reincarnating. Only thing is, you don't know when you're going to come back. <laughs> you don't know what kind of living conditions you'll come back in. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord, I don't know why you guys would want to do that. What do you want to say to these air signs that are supposed to be walking in Leo energy? You need to look at your Aquarius placement, wherever there's a Aquarius. I feel like you're going to figure out something if you check your birth chart and look at where the Aquarius is in your birth chart. Something that you're going to discover that about love. Okay about what you're supposed to be creating for your purpose, your north node, to get you on track with your north node, to get you to do the right thing. This will also give you some information about who you are and what your actions should be and what you desire. Yeah, I'm definitely talking to a Libra here, okay? 
What do you want to say to um, the Divine Feminines? What do you want to say to the Divine Feminines? So some of you could have a moon in Scorpio. Or some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio who's hiding. This person could be hiding from you. They could be hiding some kind of communication about something, about a situation. It has something to do with your with spirituality and your power or their power. 9-8 could be significant or 8-9. This is about a karmic cycle. There could be a Sagittarius involved trying to keep you stuck in your south node that teamed up with a Scorpio. They could be lovers. They could be lovers. I just saw Venus. What, what were they doing? Yeah, they were just trying to keep you in your cell node. Yeah, they were trying to prevent you from being in the sun. And you're a Virgo. They were trying to fuck with your mind. So they could have been telepathically putting shit in your head to make you feel unstable. Lord. What's coming to these people? This, this is ridiculous. What is coming to these people, to anybody who was fucked up? To people who were trying to lead with their light and, like, do the right thing and help people and heal people. What the fuck is going on with these people? They do this because they need, they have a need for control. They're obsessive. They're power hungry. It's their spiritual values to be this way. So, yeah, they're representing or they're worshiping the ops, basically. Um, you're still going towards, so to a Scorpio and a Leo, you're still going towards the sun. Um, whoever was attacked by these people. Your willpower, you're so dedicated. <laughs> Nothing that they can do can hurt you. Yeah, because you're doing this for humanity and for your future. So you're like, I don't give a fuck. You know what your beliefs are and what your ideas are. So basically, <laughs> they may end up trying to even cooperate with you yeah because they want to go towards the sun too now so they could you could have changed these people's mind um when they saw how how much whoa shit that's weird somebody could be trying to hack into your computer as well they are also being disconnected from your energy i just saw please sink again sink again like sink your energy so th these people are being okay so that's their karma thank you spirit that's their karma they're being cut off from your energy they can no longer access your energy anymore or your consciousness i don't know they were allowed to do this before probably to i don't know to see if they would a lot of times the divine's like okay do what you want but karma's a bitch Yep, they were trying to create confusion, but I feel like now they're going to be confused because they're, they're not allowed to access your energy anymore. They're going to be limited by fear. Yep, they're because they won't be able to get in. Um, and they also want to team up with you because they see how strong you are and how you're backed, how protected you are. I don't know. I thought they were, I think they just thought that you were, <laughs> yeah that's the truth something about them getting enlightened information about what spirit guides actually help you they're scared now um they're scared about who protects you I, I feel like these people didn't really know who they were messing with like they fucked around and found out yeah pluto is here it's weird because they are encompassing pluto or they may worship this energy or something but this energy protects you too or protects you <laughs> Oh, God. 
yeah this energy protects you and they this is why they're scared because they realize this energy protects you they're like oh hell no i'm sorry please forgive me oh shit they were confused they're like what the hell how did this occur i don't know it's like i feel like they thought that they could do something to you with an energy but the energy was like what i protect her too I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> they tried to use that energy against you. Maybe they thought that they could team up with this energy and it because it wanted to control you that they thought that they could jump on its tails and be like, oh yeah, let's do this. And that energy was like, what? I think not. I don't know. It's something about it. This person... I don't know, whoever's encompassing that Hades energy that they thought would team up with them or something, this person is like a loner, potentially. Like, they thought that they were gonna, yeah. <laughs> they thought that they were gonna team up with this person or team up with this energy. They realized something. Yeah, they realized something. Yeah, that this person was not fucking around with them either. <laughs> But this person is like this person works alone this person also saw them coming this person views you as someone who's nurturing and compassionate they really love you they know that you're their feminine okay they love you so what i'm channeling is that these people that tried to like get this person that encompasses this energy to turn on you they thought that this person didn't see this in you. But they did. That's the whole reason why this person wanted to, wanted to meet you in this lifetime. This is the whole reason why their soul wanted to meet you again in this lifetime. Because you give them the love that they never got from their mother. And there's chemistry. They love you. I'm hearing... <laughs> I can't. I'm getting out of this energy. I'm getting out of this energy. Yes, this person wanted to keep you as a third party, Divine Feminine, but this person really fucking loves you. Like, even though they have a shitty way of... So they may try to, like, fuck your life up, fuck your money up. Like, come to me, Divine Feminine. I'll take care of you. But it's like, if anybody else tries to fuck with you, they're like, oh, hell no. Nah. You're going to get away from her. You're not doing that to her she's mine like it's some weird shit going on yep i'm telling you this is <laughs> this is your masculine okay this person is like no because i feel like these people thought that this person would team up with them because they're like damn this person's fucked up look at what he's doing to her but he's like yeah i may do it to her but you're not allowed that's the energy i'm that's what i'm channeling I don't know. This is weird. This is... This is not good energy. Divine Feminine, please pray. I'm, I'm done. I have stuff to do today. 